Welcome, Molly. We're so happy to have you here today with us at the CTN Information Fair. Molly is the team lead of the CICE program at Georgian College. So Molly, please describe your organization's vision and tell us how this fits in with CTN's focus on the F words for child development. Sure, thank you. Um, the Community Integration Through Cooperative Education Program, or CICE, is a program that provides um, access to post-secondary education uh, for people with diverse learning challenges. Um, we're available at the Barry Aurelia and Old Sound campuses of Georgian College. Um, and we fit into the, the five Fs um, because we promote self-advocacy, independence, and then we focus on preparing students for entry-level work. Um, we offer a supported, individualized college experience. So students can come, um, they can learn things uh, that they're interested in, and then they also have those core courses in CICE that focus on employability, such as, um, you know, um, employment interests, um, finding a job that fits you, and then resume cover letter writing and lots and lots of interview practice. Um, it's a two-year certificate program, um, so um, usually certificates take one year to complete, but we build in extra time for our students, so they get two years to complete it. Um, and we offer support through learning facilitators who um, attend classes with students, and they provide accommodations and modifications in those classes, um, and so that they, the students really receive an individualized um, experience at college that focuses on their strengths. Um, and we make sure that the uh, modifications are challenging, but yet still achievable. So students are interested and excited to learn. Uh, they're not bored because it's too easy. There's a challenge there. Um, students are also able to enhance their uh, employability skills. Uh, they take courses that interest them um, in a variety of different um, program areas outside of CE, CICE. Um, so we have um, food, uh, food and prep courses, we have baking courses. Um, up in Aurelia, we have uh, the human services. Um, you can take, uh, try courses in ECE, uh, justice studies, um, DSW, um, and, and things like that. Up in On Sound is a really nice blend of both. So, um, you know, they, they have um, the human sciences and they also have uh, things like um, hospitality and tourism, just like the Barry campus, which is quite nice. Um, so as far as the fun goes, I didn't really get to fun, uh, but uh, students who attend Georgian um, have access to many fun activities. Um, our uh, student association, the GCSA, puts on um, events um, and students are able to participate in those. We have a CICE social club um, and a, just the new CICE art club that we've just started that's run by our own students, um, but anyone can come. Um, and then the students are also able to access the fitness centers at their campuses uh, with their student cards. So that's some ways that they can have fun. And of course, CIC is all about integration and meeting new people, and that's always the best part. It sounds like a great fit with a lot of our F words there. While primarily focusing on future, there's fitness and friends and fun. So that's really great, Molly. Thank you. Could you please briefly explain what services and supports you're able to offer families right now during this time of physical distancing? Right, so um, CICE uh, successfully um, transitioned to supported remote learning um, in March uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and we supported students in a variety of ways at that time. Um, for example, um, we still had all our learning facilitators available. Um, we had WebEx sessions for students. Uh, we reached them by telephone if that was better. Um, and we used lots of web-based programs that students were able to access the, um, the educational materials such as uh, Screencast-O-Matic, Flipgrid, Kahoot, um, and VoiceOver PowerPoint. So we tried to have it a blend of you know, serious learning, but also um, trying to make the online environment fun because you know students, I'll be honest, it was a, quite an abrupt transition. They weren't expecting it. So we, we really tried to make it, uh, it easy for them to um, take out any anxiety they might feel around going to remote learning. And it was quite successful. Students did well in their courses. Um, 
and they really liked it. Um, going into the fall, um, we're looking at probably a remote delivery as well uh, for our new students that are coming in. So our second years were, have already kind of gone through it. Um, so we're going to help them transition by reminding them of all the things they learned last semester. But for the fall, we're um, preparing to deliver our sessions and classes also in a supported remote learning environment. Um, but we will still have the learning facilitators. They'll be available um, using WebEx, telephones, um, we're, excuse me, we're still going to uh, we're still going to have our student support sessions um, and our learning skills and tech sessions. Uh, the things that everything we offer in our own program, we're going to still be offering in the fall. Um, just it won't be uh, 3D face to face. It'll be WebEx or uh, 2D face to face through the computer. Um, we're also going to provide at the beginning support and training for all our students in using the different technologies that we'll be using in the fall. Um, and all our um, core teachers are going to focus on the same things so that it will look like it'll look the same in each of the courses for students so they don't have to learn a whole lot of new things in order to uh, do their studies. Um, and our goal basically is to provide the same college experience as much as we can uh, going forward until we're able to be face to face. That sounds really wonderful. Thank you. Could you please share your plans to support youth and young adults and their families moving forward? Yeah. Um, so we're still taking applications for the fall in CICE. Um, we will take them until we're completely full. Um, so um, applicants uh, need their high school certificate or diploma, or they need to be 19 in order to apply. Um, there is an interview process um, that uh, we've been doing over WebEx, which is um, so far every student uh, that uh, applied has been able to interview um, and uh, get their advocate reference form in, uh, even remotely. So that's been wonderful. I'm so happy about that. Um, so uh, we will do that remotely. If students uh, still want to apply, they can through um, the OCAS site. Um, and students coming into the fall will receive uh, the transition package with activities um, to help them get comfortable with the college environment and learn some of the new terms and things. Um, and they'll be connected with a learning facilitator that they'll get to know in that time so that they'll have a friendly face that they can rely on and a name that they know to go to, um, you know, if they have any questions uh, when we're starting up the program. Um, and for more information about CICE, you can email me at cice at georgiancollege.ca. Fantastic, Molly. Thank you so much for being with us today. Great information for families. I was happy to be here. Thanks for having me.